Alright, so we decided to do like a streetwear hype beast type yeah, tier list. Uh, I saw I saw like Randolph and Mini Minter doing tier lists on their podcast, the What's Good podcast. So I thought, you know what, why don't we give it a try here as well? Let's give it a shot. Um give all right, a okay, segment. Cool. So we got we got our we got our categories. We've got high path, we got I love it, we got medium rare, your average, we've got your pound land, and then we've got your bin juice, man. Like you get this out, <laughs> get this out of the house. <laughs> Get this out of your house. That's uh, don't want any of this rubbish. All right, fine. Okay, the first one is feeler. What are you, what are you thinking on feeler? Oh, feeler, feeler. <laughs> Bro, I'm oh, thinking man. pound lad or yo, even bin juice. Yo, I, I remember seeing this video. If no one's seen this video of this kid, and it's actually a really good video. I don't know why yeah. I'm laughing. Like, and he's like, kids were bullying me at school because I was wearing feelers. And yo, <laughs> just, just type in like, I don't know. Uh, black kid talking about feeler shoes. It's honestly yeah. like a really inspirational video. But yeah, uh, but saying that, bin juice. Like, bin juice, yeah, yeah. The last thing they bought out that I know is those stupid yeah. chunky shoes that every girl wears. Bro. <laughs> Forget that. Butter shoes, man. Butter shoes. All right, cool. Uh, <laughs> next one is Palace. I'm a big fan of Palace. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bro, I am yeah. a big, big fan of Palace. I have quite a few Palace stuff. Okay. Um, for me, it's like, for me, it's. Uh, I would put it in high path, but I don't know right. what you think. I, I, I don't Yo. know. Some people may put it in. I love it. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, like I'm, I'm not really familiar with the brand. I is it like a skating? Yeah, yeah, it's a skating. Yeah, brand. they're all skating, brand. Brand skating. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'll put right, that cool. in like medium rare, medium rare. Right? No, no, no. I uh, will compromise with I love it. Man. <laughs> Palace is sick. Palace is sick. Uh, uh, I actually prefer it to Supreme. Uh, okay. They don't necessarily have. The range of stuff is supreme, but like the tees and stuff like that are much nicer. You mean you mean they don't have bricks and uh, uh, yeah, they don't bags. sell crap like that. Yeah, 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 they don't sell crap. All right, cool. Next one is an interesting one. It is off white. Ooh, ooh. Okay. What, what no, are you I don't thinking? know about. What do you do? You own any off white stuff? Because I don't. Yo, no. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, yeah, I'm not into like. I I, I appreciate these brands a lot. And yeah. you know, I'll, I'll be like a. I'm into fashion myself. Yeah. But for myself, I don't rock it. I don't know. It's a bit weird. Like I, I see myself as creating the yeah, yeah, yeah. pieces, but not necessarily like being a showcase of those pieces. But I would place like Off White, knowing like Virgil, like knowing of him obviously, and uh, like the story behind it, and him yeah. working with like Kanye West and like the yeah. Apex. Do you remember Apex? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd yeah, put, yeah. I'd put, I would put Off White. Especially with their new Nike thing and all the collaborations with the hype AF man. Yeah, I think it has to. I think the, the I think the some of the like core off white stuff I think is not very nice. Yeah. But the collab stuff is so good. So good. Uh, the Nike collab stuff in particular, like like I really wanted um, the uh, Jordan ones. Oh. Uh, the collab they did, the <laughs> so university good. blue ones. They're so nice, but obviously like so difficult to get hold of. It's so um, difficult. But uh, I, I'm not going to argue too much with you on, on off white. Nah, nah, uh, you can't if you can. <laughs> uh, well, the next one's interesting, right? Because it's a British brand and one that, a brand that kind of got associated with Chavs. Uh, but then, like, they I'd say in the last it. 15, 20 years. I know years, what you're on about. <laughs> yeah, you already know. But then in like, the last, like, 15, 20 years, it's kind of, like, grown and grown. And now it's back, I think, to being, like, known as a really premier fashion brand. And yeah. that is Burberry. Burberry. Uh, I don't own any Burberry stuff. Like, I thought about getting the scarf, you know, like the OG scarf. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it was like 400 quid. And I was like, but it, 400 quid for a scarf, man. That's nah, bad. man. I don't uh, for know, me, like... yeah. For me, it goes medium rare. Like, I, yeah, I yeah. very average. Yeah, very, very average. I think how they, like, did the 180 on, you know, the rebranding and stuff. Yeah. Quite literally, like they they took their patterns from the outside and put them inside instead. Like they quite literally did a one eighty. <laughs> but I think other than the pattern, uh, yeah, though, other than the rare. pattern, though, other than the pattern, they're not really known for anything. I don't think. Nah. Like there's nah. no like distinctive Burberry thing. Maybe they, that just is that pattern, uh, yeah. and, and it kind of goes. But um, uh, uh, next one, next one, next one is uh, El Wee. Have you ever seen that Russell El- Peters? Have you ever seen <laughs> El- that Russell Wee. Peters sketch yeah. El Wee? <laughs> Elmi, Louis, Louis, Louis. Yeah, that sketch is sick. Any of you guys have watched yeah, that, yeah. that Russell Peters Louis Vuitton sketch? Russell so Peters, funny. what a legend, man. Yeah, legend. Ah, uh, you know what? LV, Loki being like killing it with like social oh, media. Yeah, game. I completely agree, man. Y'all got Virgil on the menswear. 
if we put it's if we put off like complex the every end of the day like yeah man it's sick it's sick it's sick well, I think if we're gonna put if we're gonna put off white up there for the collapse I think we need to put LV up there for the collapse yeah as yeah hundred percent hundred percent the only thing so like so I have I have a uh, like the duffel bag like the Kepa bag they call it yeah which is like the large one and I saved up a whole year for that bag um, and it was like. Uh, I'm not bragging here, but I'm just telling you how much it is, right? It was 1,200 quid, right? Jeez. For a, like, it's like an overnight bag. It's like a big overnight bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the time, I was like, bro, this is gas. I even yeah. got my initials on the tag. I was oh, like, this is sick. <laughs> but now, like, what is it, like four years later, I'm like, bro, that's so mad. I spent 1,200 quid on yeah, a bag. Yeah, on that, a bag. That other than, like, two weekends a year sits in my closet because I'm too scared to one... <laughs> I only take it if I'm like driving somewhere that I know the bag's not going to be like handled by other people. Yeah, yeah. Um, because I can't risk taking it on a plane. Because if I take it on a plane and then they have Wait. to put it in the hold, nah, bro, it's not going in the hold, man. I don't care. You're done. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> my my Louis Vuitton bag is done. So it's like you, I I have it, but like oh. I only use it if I'm going for like a road trip or something like that. Yeah. But yeah. anyways, it's still sick when I rock it. Like a when I rock it, I'm like joys. <laughs> 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 yeah, get, get getting the twelve hundred pounds worth out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not? Why Yo, not? That's and, crazy. Um, yeah, it's sick, man. But yeah, hype, Louis Vuitton. Hype, yeah, hype AF. Hype AF. Yeah, one hundred percent. Like the Louis Vuitton off white uh, collab was interesting as well Ooh. when they did those like you know those see through bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were sick. They were like really, the really sick. like the chrome effect and stuff yeah yeah yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Wow, i'm not sure on a see-through bag it kind of feels a bit redundant but uh anyways i thought it was good all right cool the next one is an interesting one uh it's adidas Ooh, oh okay I've, I've got a story to tell for this one so adidas man kanye west what an influence because at first i was like all night you know what i still am to be fair got the yeah. hat on blah 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 Air Force every day, and um, yo, it was, it must have been like first year uni, and Kanye West was playing a massive influence with like Adidas and his yeah. whole Yeezy collection and stuff, mm. and he rocked the all white um ult- yeah Ultra Boost is it Ultra Bo- yeah Ultra Boost pure Boost something yeah, Boost uh, <laughs> the yeah boost. the Ultra Boost ones, ultra right? boost. Like the kind yeah, of like yeah, running yeah. type shoes yeah. yeah yeah and yo me and my shoes right. So I annoy my girlfriend loads with trainers, man. Yeah. Because I spent ages looking, looking, looking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be at one o'clock and I'll ask her, uh, what do you think, the white ones or the black ones? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> because it's important choices, by the way. It is important. And this is the most comfortable shoe ever. So I rate Adidas oh, yeah. Ultra so boost, uh, high yeah. for that. And I think with the whole Yeezy collaboration, you know what, man, I have to... Oh, I don't know. Is it hype AF or what's the, what's the second one again? I don't man? know. I, I was. I love I'll, it. I'll go for I love second it. One. I I would say I love it too. I think. I love it. I love it. I think Adidas is definitely up their game in You're the last. Such a. Oh, I like love a, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They they just like. I, I feel like the Yeezy thing has been a big help to them. Um, but I think you know, just even like some of the Adidas original stuff. Like I'm a I'm I prefer the Adidas original stuff. Yeah, I think that's much stand. nicer. Um, they still have like the OG stuff as well, like the Stan Smiths and stuff that are really, really nice. Yeah. Um, but I think, you know, now more than before, they have like a really good like range of stuff. So they have on one end, they're doing collabs with like Palace and stuff on a Juventus kit. And then they've got the Yeezys and then they've got Adidas Originals and then they've got like uh, football stuff. So I think now, like before, I don't think they've ever had it this way, but they've kind of really got a good range of stuff, which means yeah. that if you're, you know, if you're a sports person or like a hype beast person or whatever, you, you there's something that Adidas makes for you, which I think is sick, which is why I think it definitely has to go into I love it. Um, I love it. I think it has to be there. All right, cool. Next one's an interesting one. I don't think we're the target demographic for this brand, um, but that is Stone Island. Little stony. What is it on the left sleeve or the right sleeve? <laughs> Bro, I don't, I don't know on Stone Island, man. Like, I think... Nah. People pay so much for that stupid little badge. I'm like, oh, it doesn't I even. I don't know. Man. I really don't like it. <laughs> I, I see this when I go like Selfridges or something. It's the first thing I see going yeah. down the escalators, and I'm just like, this this stuff ain't too great. Like it looks no. like you can get it. Remember, like I don't know shops like 
Blue Ink or something. Like, <laughs> 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 found in okay. there, man. Well, I don't think it's that bad. I think it's bad, <laughs> but I don't think it's that bad. But for me, I think it goes in Poundland. I don't think it yeah, goes Pound in Land, Pound Land. Because I think some of the stuff is all right, but I think just yeah. like the... I think I associate the type of people that wear Stone Island okay, okay. With, with the brand. Uh, no offense to anyone who wears Stone Island, <laughs> no but one. like I don't know, they, they're ripping off their Stonies right now. <laughs> I don't think they give a, I don't think they give a shit what I say. But yeah, anyways, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, for me, yeah, I think Stone Island we we in Poundland. Uh, the next brand is an inch, a very very interesting one, um, because they they have grown in the mainstream a lot in the last like at least five years. Okay. Uh, and that's mainly down to the triple S's. Uh, so that is Balenciaga. Uh, what, what do you yes. think about Balenciaga, man? Oh, I don't know. Goodness, man. I don't yo, know. Yo. They're, they're incredible, first. first. First of all, they're incredible. As really? In how, how has someone made... No, incredible in the sense of they've took, taken something so simple and then basically made it wacky and now they're selling it. Like some of the stuff I see is yeah, it's mad borderline it? like crazy. Yeah, it's wacky, and like the chunkiness of the shoes. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Do you man. like the triple S's? Do you like the triple S's? I hate them. I think they're disgusting. <sighs> they're they're just a bit overkill, isn't it? They're they're a little bit overkill. I don't. They don't even like. I don't even get the appeal. Like I don't even know why people buy the knockoffs in like H and M or Zara. Oh, like dear. I don't know, man. I just. <laughs> For me, Balenciaga is a medium rare, man. Like, it's just a medium rare. I don't know about you, but for me, it's a medium rare, man. You know what, though? I think the clothing, the quality of it is actually decent. Oh, I'm sure it is, but you're probably like 800 quid for a pair of crappy trainers. I expect (laughs) it to be good, man. I expect it to be good. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I'll think whack it in medium rare, man. Medium rare, medium rare, medium rare. All right, cool. All right, the next one is an interesting brand. Again, I think I've said that for every single one, but... um, (laughs) Uh, it's Champion. Okay. 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 Do you own yeah. any champion? Do you own any Champion stuff? I think I used to like when I was like twelve. Bro, man, me I, too, man. Me I, too. I just, I just think of this brand yet yeah, of like childhood reminiscence, man. Because definitely, I don't know where they went for like literally like ten years or something. But this brand just disappeared, and now they're back with like Phase Clan. Yeah, with, like, yeah, yeah. merch and, like... Yeah, man, they're They'll big, be, big. like, collaborating, like, Mike Maylax clothing, the Night Shift clothing, you've got Champion on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... I, I think they're killing when, it, though. Where... Yeah, where... Have they turned into, like, a merch thing? I think they... And but I, I also, think they... I also I mess th- with the hoodies hella loads, man. I need yeah, to get myself... Yeah, yeah. Actually, I need to get myself one. I think they... I think they're quite clever. I think they chose a strategy, right? Which was, mm. we're going to go to that type of late teens, early 20 type of market... Uh, we're going to just go ham for that market, right? So, yeah. so you know, like the main place people buy Champion, right, is Urban Outfitters, right? Right. That is, that place is like, you know, that place, that shop exists for that like 17 to 24 market, right? 100%, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, uh, and, you know, things like the Face Clan stuff uh, and all those other collabs you mentioned, I think that's all part of like that strategy of theirs. Right. Um, for those types of people who kind of have a bit of money, either for mom or dad or have started working and have money, I think they've really kind of targeted that. But, I think the thing that's really good about Champion is, as you say, with like the hoodies, man, like they have some OG stuff, right? They, they're just like must-haves in your wardrobe. Literally, man. Um, which is why, for me, I think it's like either medium rare or I love it. I, I don't know. What I do love you it, think? you know. I think I you love, love it. it. Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah, I kind of agree, man. I think it's just like, it's just like OG stuff. Um, yeah, 100%. But speaking of OG stuff, uh, okay. the next brand we have is Ralph Lauren. <laughs> How many how many polos did you either have or do you have? Yo, are you crazy, man? Do you not remember me? And I had a polo for like every single city. It was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I don't like, remember that. I don't remember that. I don't ever yeah, remember seeing man. you in a Ralph Lauren polo. Yo, my favorite one was the blue one, man. I, I think it was like. Wait, what color pony was it? The red pony, or the white pony? Red. Uh, I don't even remember. I don't know. Cause I have must the, have been the red one, you know. I have so I have three. I have the blue one with the red pony, okay. the black one with the purple pony, okay. and a green one with the red pony. Um, wait, wait, wait. Are you on about with the cities on it as well? 
No, 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 no. This is just you know yeah, the small logo. Man. This nah, is just nah. the small I, logo, I, like. Mine was, the... mine was a big one, yeah. Oh, yeah. did you have the big three in the middle as well? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I used to think like, I always used to think those ones were like very tacky, and it yeah, was the, just... Like, just the OG, really simple ones that were nicer. But yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. People used to like. Do you remember like? I would say maybe it was like, maybe it was like eight to ten years ago, mm. where like people were just banging Ralph Lauren polos. Everyone was wearing Ralph Lauren polos. Bro, everyone, um, man. It's I remember when easy. I used to go to America, it used to be ham, man. America was a, it was because so, I mean, you're going from the UK, like here you'd pay like 80 quid for a polo mm. and it'd work out the equivalent. It'd be like 40 quid when you go to yeah, the US. Yeah. You'd be like, bro, this is mad. And you'd just take like every color. That is um, so true. I think that is what happened, you know? Because I yeah. remember having like this red one and then like a green one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I messed with those heavy back in the day. Uh, but now, me. now I think, um, like the hoodies, the the hoodies are something I see as like attractive. You could say, yeah, like something I would buy. But what what do you think, man? Like, I don't know. I, I think I don't. This, so what's interesting is I only and I wear my Ralph Lauren polos when I'm going to families, right. families' house who are elders. Okay. Like I don't I don't have like um like a smart casual wardrobe. Like I either yeah. have smart which is work which is like suits and shirts and stuff yeah. and then i have casual which is like track suits shorts <laughs> t-shirts i have like nothing in between so like yeah. my ralph lauren polo is like if i'm going to my aunt or uncle's house or something i'm like okay i can go safe with a you know a ralph lauren polo a ralph, with a pair yeah. of jeans or something yeah um, classy, yeah so for me like that's what i think i think the thing about ralph lauren though that people forget is that they actually do do a lot of fashion that Loads. isn't that isn't you know related to the little pony logo, uh, isn't mainstream. Yeah, yeah um, 100%. but I think I think for the purpose of this, like uh, for me, I feel like medium rare. Like yeah, I feel me, like yeah. it, it, it had its day, but like it's kind of lost its way a bit. Um, yeah. And maybe if they had collabed with like Supreme, I think they may have, they might have actually collabed with Supreme at some point. But something like that could have really helped them, maybe. Yeah, yeah, medium rare, man, medium rare. Medium rare. All right, cool. Uh, the next one we have is Gucky. Gucky. What do you bro, think? There's a lot to say about this brand. There is a lot to say about Gucky. <laughs> Yo, first and foremost, yeah, what were they thinking with that? Like, what was it? Like a polo? And it and it had like the lips on it and they got done for like the blackface thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was that? bad. That like, was mad. These, now, what, these... Like what idiot did that, bro? <laughs> these designs go through iterations of people looking yeah, at mad. them, designing them, creating them. They did that on purpose, man. How did they not? It made a storm, right? And it got yeah, Gucci exactly, in, it got exactly. Gucci in the press. So that's the exactly. main thing. Exactly. Um, then you've got the what? is it the, the logo with the snake going through it? The simple yeah, yeah, all the snake, all the snake stuff, right? Um, uh, all the snake stuff is huge, right? Like the aces yeah, as yeah. well. You know the Gucci aces, the trainers. Yeah. Um, I see. I I went to Paris last year. Uh, we went to the Gucci store and I saw a hoodie. It was like a black hoodie and it had the you know the the reverse G type of yeah, logo yeah. on it and it was in like yeah. a reflective like rainbowy type color. And I was like, bro, this looks sick. And I was so tempted to buy it, but it was it worked out to eight hundred pounds. And I was like, as much as I love this, and I really, really want to, I can't, I just can't yeah, justify yeah, £800 I, on a hoodie. Yo, I don't even know how you justified £1,200 on a bag. <laughs> yeah, I don't, think I, I don't think I can even now, but um, <laughs> yeah, it's madman. Like, I think, I don't know, for me, I feel like Gucci has definitely stepped up their game in the last, like, five years, and they've yeah, become a lot more, like... Uh, I'd say mainstream, but like still keeping that kind of premium brand thing. Yeah. So for me, they go in. I love it. I don't know about you. Yeah, man. I, I mess with the um, the trainers quite a lot. Mm, the aces. Like the different. Yeah, yeah. Those ones, and I think they're just like a a white simple one with the you know the yeah. black and uh, the red and the green like yeah yeah back, yeah, yeah, yeah back tags or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll, I'll put them in. I love it. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, the next one uh, is Vans. Interesting. Now I, I kind of, I like Van in terms of shoes. 
Like, I really like the shoes. I yeah. used to own a pair. I don't anymore. Um, Were they white? No, they weren't. Well, the first <laughs> pair I had... The first pair I had were slip-ons... And oh, they man. were the black and grey checked ones. You know, like oh, the ones okay. that are yeah, checked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And then after that, I bought the just all black ones. Okay. Um, but I feel like everyone started wearing those black ones with the kind of white stripe on the side. 100%. And it just become, it became such a basic bitch shoe. <laughs> <laughs> literally. Literally. Like, everyone, every, oh, every man. girl, man, wears that. Man, and yo, like, like with like Palace. Yeah. Because it's like a skater brand, right? Brands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate it. That's the thing. Like, I, yeah. I, I wouldn't wear it. You know, I wouldn't rock anything as such. Yeah. I, I would throw them in the air and hope they <laughs> land, you know, upright. Yeah. Um, if someone's got white vans on, I'd be like, back at it again. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Bro. Damn, Daniel. Damn! Yeah, God, that's an OG I'll, man. I'll put them. I'll put medium rare for me. Yeah, I, I, I was medium gonna. Rare. I was gonna agree. Medium rare, medium rare. Because they're, they're not Powerland, man. I can appreciate. Nah, they're not Powerland because it is nice, right? They are nice. Um, yeah, they do do some good skater stuff. All right, the next brand is a very interesting one. It's very, very difficult to get hold of. Okay. Um, and that is V Loan or V I think it's V Loan. I've always V-Lone. called it V Loan. V Loan. I've never called it Vloan. I don't Vlone. think it's called Vloan. <laughs> no, 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 not Vloan. Yeah, what do you think on V Loan? Yeah, so I I bought this like one V loan um, piece in first year uni when I thought Jeez. I was an absolute baller. I go on then, and it was like my favorite thing to wear. To be honest, yeah, it it was bright orange and I loved it. <laughs> it was like look at me, look at me, and I think ASAP Mob were ones to like really introduce mm. it yeah, to, like, yeah, yeah. my 100%. my eyes and like yeah make it known. i remember seeing rocky wear it rocky yeah, was yeah, like yeah. the first person i saw like really um I, rocky and ferg for me yeah, were like yeah. the two people i i saw what i saw you like wearing v loan yeah i think the good thing about them is like it's still super hard to get hold of v loan stuff very man like it's and i think that's really good like all the other brands we've talked about even if they have exclusive stuff you can still, <laughs> you still <got> quite <laughs> easily get hold of their stuff. Whereas yeah. V-Loan still is so difficult, man. Which is why right. for me, like for me, I think it goes in. I love it. Mm. I agree, man. I agree. Uh, I think it's really nice and simple. Um, right. Something else to go there. All right, cool. we got a couple left. So we'll rattle through these. But the next one right, is Comme des Garçons. I love them. Love I, love their, I, love con- I love their, I love the their Converse. Converse. The Converse. Ooh, yes. I need a pair, man. I yes. need a pair. And, and the, yo, it's, you actually... It's probably one of my. It's probably the favorite brand that you're going to set out of all of them. I love this. I just love simple stuff. Like me, I rock yeah. a black tee every day. I wouldn't mind if there was a little gold love heart or red yeah, love yeah, heart yeah. or black love heart on Definitely. my sleeve or like my chest. I mess it's with not them too heavy, man. Yeah, it's not yeah. too Reasonably expensive. Yeah, yeah. Reasonably priced. Like it's it's quality. It's good price. Like it's still designer. I, I mess with them heavy, man. I put them hype Hi. AF. Yeah, facts. Really. Yeah, yeah, facts. I don't know. Facts. For me, they're not on par with like Off White Louboutin, so I'm gonna go and leave. I'm gonna go and I love it. All right, fair. And maybe you can supersede one of my votes later on. <laughs> All right, cool. The next one for me is a no-brainer. Uh, that is Nike. Oh, mate, is is there one above Hype AF? Yeah, cause... I'm about to say this Yo. goes straight. <laughs> this goes straight. This goes at the front of Hype Hype. Yo. Oh wait, if it lets me, yeah. This goes blue. at the front of Hype Path, man. It's just oh, so good, so good. Blue, blue ribbon. Imagine, imagine from Blue Ribbon to Nike, their yes. swoosh costing $35. I, yes. I love everything about Nike, man. The, the, how it grew, God, the, it's such the a good things story. they do, the apps they've got, the info, like the athletes they've got. Yeah. Uh, man, everything they make is just so good. Quality, quality. So good. I don't think there's any much more to say on Nike, man. They're just nah, so there's, good. There's not just so fair, good. man. <laughs> All right, knows. next one. Next one is... I think I know where I go, but I'll, I'll be interested in what saying. That is Supreme. Okay. Yeah, man. Every Thursday. It's the OG. For me, it's the OG. Like, it's the OG of kind of all of this whole hype beast streetwear type of stuff, right? right? It, is, it, is, it is the one that started it all. Uh, you know, those those man from 
06 who were buying box logos back then. <laughs> they knew what they were doing. They knew, man. They knew what they were doing. They see man now paying a grand for a box logo. That's crazy. Um, but high path for me, mate. High path. Has high, yeah, be, yeah, man. Has to be high path. I, I want to uh, buy those like weird items where it's like a lighter and like a brick. Yeah. And, like all of those. I want to buy those instead, man. Just keep them around yeah. the house everywhere. Man. But even that, some of that stuff is super expensive, man. Like you try yeah, and buy it on resale. Yeah. Um, like I have... Uh, what do I have? I have a couple of Supremes. I have a couple of T-shirts and stuff. I have right. the boxes. Everyone has the Supreme boxes. <laughs> um, I have like a backpack. Yeah. I I resold a few things that I bought. Um, oh. Yeah, you into that yeah. resale stuff though? Well, I was into it a little bit. So like about a couple of years ago, I used to... Um, this was back when I was living at home, right? So my expenditure was like zero. Uh <laughs> I used to, it was both Supreme and Yeezys that I would try and buy at retail. Yeah. And then sell them on. So most of the time I would, wouldn't get anything on retail or get anything good on retail. Right. Um, so I didn't really bother. Mm. Um, but if I could, then I would, the odd item I would resell. The kind of the, the, the thing that really did it for me and, may, and I invested a bit more time into reselling was I managed to sell... Uh, when the cream white Yeezys first came out, so the first drop of the cream white 350 yeah, yeah, V2s, yeah. when they came out, I managed to get three pairs, Ooh, uh, three. So, ten and a half. So sorry, I actually got three pairs at ten and a half and one pair at seven and a half for my cousin. Because um, I, 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 so I that one pair I gave to my cousin for retail because I was like, it's family, right? Yeah. And the other, so one pair I bought for myself because I was like, I already had the the black and the the black and the white ones. Um, so I was like, you know, I'll keep one pair and then I'll resell two. Yeah. Uh, so I managed to sell, obviously like th- at that time they were going on sale at like 8 a.m. in the morning, right? I managed to sell, this was when they retailed for 150. I was able to sell two pairs before midday for 400 a piece. Oh my day. Like this was when, this was when like, fa- <laughs> this was when like Facebook reselling was huge, right? And I was like, <laughs> Jesus, I've made, place. I've made 500 quid sitting in my bed. <laughs> In the morning. I was like, bro, this is mad. Um, and then when the pair came, when my pair came, the one that I wanted, I looked at it, I opened it, and I was like, bro, these are so white. I'm going to be so paranoid about getting these dirty. So bro. I sold them as well. Um, mad. Yeah, yeah they, they, were, well. they were nice, but They were the actually cream. nice. But at, when they released that first drop, they didn't. we didn't think that there was going to be a subsequent drop, like another drop. Yeah. So obviously everyone went hard, but then later on they released they released pretty much an unlimited supply of yeah, the yeah. cream whites. So well, the value was, just absolutely That was always t- um, Kanye West's like idea, though, right? Like to yeah, make yeah. them uh, like a mainstream shoe. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was always it was always to get them mainstream. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. The last brand we have, and I'm surprised this one is here. Um, there are a couple of brands that maybe we didn't come. I, that I thought might have been on this tier list, but not. Those are like Montclair and Antisocial Social Club. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, but they're not on here, so we don't have to talk about them. But the last one is Raf Simmons. Ooh, little Raf. I don't. What? I don't mess with this stuff, man. I, I don't. Know. I do you? Can't. I can't recall any like articles of clothing that he's put out. To be honest, it's quite like. If I was to compare it to something, I'd say it's like close to like a mixture of like off white and Balenciaga. I would say. Yeah, yeah. Like that's the type of style. But yeah, like I don't mess with it. Uh, I'd personally be putting it, be fine putting it in Poundland. <laughs> yeah, man. Like to be fair, I don't really know about it like that. Yeah. Like, I can't. I can't. I, I can't recall it. So yeah. Poundland, Poundland is. It is. <laughs> Poundland Maybe ninety nine p store. But who exactly. Knows? Exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there we have it. That is the tier Dude. list of uh, streetwear hype B stuff. Let us know in the comments what you think. Uh, if you disagree with us, uh, I'm sure you do. <laughs> I'm sure you <laughs> disagree with us. 